anticipated will. What are the problems if, if we're digging in into uh, VO systems? What are the problems? There are numerous solutions that claim to have saving with voltage optimization. However, the problem that you will see with such systems is, in many cases, the inability to show and measure the saving that there are. Okay? And obviously, when we make an investment in anything, and particularly energy saving, we want to be sure that the saving that we have assumed is actually made in place. And that's the task of this uh, system. Okay, what are the problem in how saving and calculation of saving is being made today? As has been just said, comparing time frames and establishing uh, baseline consumption. However, as has been mentioned, there are a lot of distracting factors and the one that you see here are just a few. But if we take today versus last Wednesday, you know, even in this particular place, the consumption is not comparable. It's impossible to compare and even to make judgments and adjustments only to a certain extent. And that inherently gives us a bias in our energy saving calculations. Okay? And, th and that's a huge problem, especially if you correlate it into uh, voltage optimization. When you do baseline consumption or a week versus a week, you just extend the effect of all these distracting factors that go into the equation and the statistics becomes quite complicated and less viable and, and accurate on the whole okay and it's obviously impossible to do it on the short time increments because we all know that the right way and the most accurate way to determine and measure saving is at the point of change but oh we cannot do it with most of the VO systems because you cannot switch sides on and off during the operational hours. And of course, when you speak about saving and consumption, what constitutes the saving is not the load, is the mix of loads. And the mix of load changes over and throughout the day. So you have to meter and measure the saving according to the applicable mix of loads that you have at any given point in time. And, and that brings us to the conclusion, the known conclusion, that there is a problem, or there are problems when you compare time frames or using baseline consumptions. Okay, what can be done to improve that? How could we overcome that kind of situation? If we could establish an empirical saving and measurement algorithm that is based on the real-time consumption figures, which will eliminate the distracting factors that we've just seen in the last slide. How can this be achieved? Okay. We are achieving that if we could, by continuously sampling and measuring the consumption differences of a stabilization of a voltage stabilization platform, okay, taking for every step, taking the pre and the post of that step and comparing that, not just once a day, but 50 to 60 times a day, measuring the differences for every mix of loads. And the mix of load is what determines the saving that we're having at any given point in time. Okay, so for every step change of voltage, there is the pre and the post measurement which establishes a sampling point, a sampling percentage which gives us a saving for that particular moment. And you have between 50 to 60 cases like that throughout the day. Okay, and using our platform, you are able to A, optimize and stabilize and thanks to the stabilization you are, all, you are also able to establish the correct saving uh, figures that you have at the site okay and what are the next steps when doing that it's actually taking the vo system making it a smart vo system turning it into an energy controller or in fact even wider the energy hub that you have in the site and doing the voltage stabilization, okay, going into configuration and remote management and remote service and remote maintenance, all the way going to reports, okay, control and creating a complete ecosystem, either site based or multi site based, to monitor and manage your systems and measure the saving, okay. And what are the benefits? 
Well, speaking of continuity of operation, you can eliminate all the problems which are encountered with VO mainly under voltage uh, protection, which is first and foremost even before taping. Because any equipment that we're fitting on site, we need to make sure that it will not harm our operation on the site. Okay? And the voltage stabilization allows us to increase the saving on site because we can reduce more when the voltage goes up. We don't have to be in a fixed step. Okay, and when you put that and the continuity of operation together, it simply means that the system will give you more saving and will measure and document that. Okay? The system also gives you all the way and the, and the means to control and configure your sites remotely. So you can, for example, configure the voltage in, you can change the voltage output on a site remotely. You can monitor the changes as they happen. You can also monitor the, all the operational parameters and see how, not only how the load change, but how the temperatures are changing and how if there are, for example, events of missing phase overload over temperature and so on. Okay? Monitoring the actual loads, everything is displayed in real time and can, of, of course, is data logged in an accuracy of a data logger and can then be generated into reports and to proactive alerts for operators. And by doing all of this, we, we can say that the system will simply give you more saving and will measure the saving. Okay, and measuring the saving, these are uh, a few screenshots, but you can see that the system can measure the consumption in a data logger format, very, very accurate, and based on its ability to stabilize the voltage, will also give you all the exact figures sliced by day, by hour, by weeks, by years, comparing saving figures from multiple sites. There are a lot of benefits that you can see, and these are empirical. These are not statistical calculations that are using time frames or baseline consumption. These are the actual differences that as they are being made and measured empirically on the site throughout the day, 50 to 60 times a day, giving you the actual saving according to the actual load and the mix of loads present at any given point in time. Okay, and all these pieces of information constitute, constitute for you all full information from multiple sites and give you full control of your uh, consumption and the actual saving. And if you drill down into this, you will see on sites that saving are not identical every day. You know, if you, and you are not just establishing one time saving percentage for a site, for good, that will, be, that will change. Of course, if you add or subtract equipment from site, but even with the given equipment on site not being changed, the saving will still change dramatically throughout the day. Okay, so what are the advantages to summarize? Continuous saving measurement. Continuous saving measurement means that it will measure the saving for good. You are not establishing a week or a two week period in which you stabilize, uh, sorry, in which you establish the saving on the site. This operates continuously for a month, for two months, as long as the system operates actually for years and will tell you exactly how much saving is being empirically measured on your site day by day, week by week, month by month, as you go. And if you add equipment or you uh, change the, the operational mode on site, you will see that saving figures will probably change. And that gives you a measure of transparency exactly what is the effect of the voltage optimization system has on your site. Of course, a project always has to start with a good and a professional survey, but this will give you the accurate verification that you need, that the system makes what we wanted it to do in, in, in the beginning. The assurance that the saving are being made as we had anticipated it. And all these are very important features that will give you and will give you all the assessment and the information that you need turning a basic VO system, which is sometimes just a step-down transformer, 
into an energy hub of your site. Thank you very much.